Hello everybody, Matt Bull here, MD of Action Coach in Loughborough and welcome to another episode of the Business Spotlight series. And I'm delighted today to be joined by Matt Hopper from Recognition Express. How are you today, Matt? All good, thanks, Matt. Thank you. Hey, I'm all good, always good, always good. So let's get started then, Matt. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about uh, what you do and how long you've been in business? Um, I'm part of uh, Recognition Express, a uh, franchise, been going for over 50 years. I'm a franchisee for the Derby and North Leicestershire area. I've been in the industry for 15 years. Excellent, excellent. So first question I'd like to ask everybody, when you think about the word success, what person springs to mind? What person springs to mind? Success. I would I would say the uh, the general of KFC. So you got to, all right. You got to expand on that a bit for me. That's a great answer. Why? Why, why that? Because he had his uh, his issues and problems of, of starting out in business, but he never gave up. He kept going. He kept uh, stumbling across these hurdles, and he kept finding ways to get over them. And obviously, he's a success now. So that spies me on. Brilliant, brilliant, great answer. So. You've been in the industry 15 years, you say. What well, how did you how did you start in the industry? Let's let's start at the beginning. How did you start in the industry then? I I, I was at uh, head office um I'd say 15 years ago, worked my way up in the industry. Um and then did sort of sales and marketing sort of uh type duties were available and I was sort of handed that to have a go at. And then I was handed the then Wolverhampton and Telford franchise to sort of clean that database up and the leads I got were, were mine. Um, and then basically, to cut a long story short, COVID happened. I was offered the franchise. I took that on. And then I, as I live actually in Loughborough, I switched it for the Derby North last year area. So it kind of made sense and been doing it three years on. Excellent. Excellent. And from, from your perspective at the moment, um, how how's that industry changed? Because you know the print industry is you know, fast moving, and we we famous stories about companies not adapting and things like that. How would you sort of summarise the changes that you've seen over the over the course of the last fifteen years, Matt? Um, I can go back from from the from the, from the COVID part part of it because that's when I really sort of got to grips with it. Um, being self employed from then is diversity. Um, just to quickly highlight diverse to the to the covid situation you know not many people like touching things then so we, we diversified with that with antibacterial uh, products um and now we've got technology of the print of onto garments and other 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 items where you may think it's a transfer print but it's actually feels as good as a screen print which is basically the next method up which is you know uh more you pay a bit more for it, basically. Okay. So we've found that, and it, it does work. It's it's coming across more attractive of, you know, pay less for more. Brilliant, brilliant. Now, I, I know from our, from the research we've conducted and, you know, you, you're a prolific networker, Matt. There's not, not many people around the Leicestershire marketplace that, that haven't heard of yourself. How, how important is it for you that 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 person to person that human interaction in what you do i think is very important um <clears throat> we can have uh, our selective networking which is great but i tend to sort of i don't go everywhere but i i don't mean very selective it's very important especially in my industry our industry rather it's it's better to show someone what you're talking about than just to tell them a story tell them the story is good but if you can show and back it up with the passion that you have and actually have examples of that story, it's even better. And the, the connection there with, with stories being told in person and myself listening in exchange to their stories. And before you know it, that connection can become a friendship. The trust is built, the rapport is built. And before you know it, you've got a working relationship, a good business relationship where you're helping each other out. That's what it's about, helping each other. I think it's very important. Brilliant, brilliant. So, if you've, you've obviously been been uh, as you say in charge of, of, the, of the franchise of this area now for, for three or four years, I think you said. What's the 
the biggest lesson or some of the lessons that you've learned over the last few years since you've, you've had control of this this particular franchise territory? Is stick to your guns. Um, you've got your processes. Stick to them. We can adapt, which is fine, and we can test the waters. But stick to what you know that works. You know, why, why change them if, it, if it's not going to break down on you, so to speak? Mm. So o over the course of that time, then, have there been sort of instances where potentially, you know, because what we one thing we do know is that the business owners, there's a lot of opportunity out there for us. Often there's this sort of shiny new thing syndrome. Have there been a few lessons you've learned along the way? Yes. Um, I'm going to divulge too much, but... Um, <laughs> You can you can trust a, an outsourced sort of referral if you like, but if that relationship's not built up, it can be dangerous. Um, as in, like you, you just don't know what's going to happen next. That's why the networking is important. You've got that relationship built up. So my instance was didn't really my lesson learned was I went on the referral of somebody, but I didn't actually get to know that business well. <laughs> And that was my lesson learned. And I won't get more into it, but that was the lesson learned. Get to know who you referred to before you action anything. Brilliant. And that's the, the, the growth journey, the success journey is, is full of lessons. And that's a lesson that a lot of us have learned along the way as well, Matt. Well, how do you see the future panning out, Matt, for, for, the, for your business and for the sector, maybe just over the course of the next year or so? What, what growth aspirations do you have for the business? Um, growth aspirations is to get into uh, more into the education sector, into, into schools. It's very difficult to uh, sort of uh, say hello if you like and get your sort of foot in the door. Um, but it's it's a challenge, and uh, we've got tools to to sort of say we can help you with this. We can help you uh, with your brand awareness of your school and to help parents trust you to you know have the children go there. So we've got tools to sort of promote them. Um, I want to sort of utilize them more and uh, get into the education sector. That's that's the that's the main goal. Um, short term goals and growth is to um, go more with the i.e. car dealerships and to, which I've recently acquired a business relationship with Toyota Derby um, with a subsidiary company of theirs and we're doing the branding for a, a fake that they're doing a, an event outside so there's various things we've got to do for that so yeah it's all going good excellent so it's, it's clear from from what we've spoken about today that you're passionate about forming great connections with people and that that human interaction that that, that you're so good at well what's the differentiator for Rec for recognition express then what makes recognition express different to other businesses of its nature well, you've got a local point of contact, okay? You can have that um, that trust is there. We, we've been around for nearly 50 years as a, as a group. Um, and the clients that we have trust us because we deliver high-quality products with a high-quality service. It's all bundled together. And you haven't got to go here, there, and everywhere for what you need, you know, a, a, your branding doing basically whatever your branding requirement it's in one place and you can trust that franchisee i.e myself to get the job done in a quick turnaround service as well and we're there all the way through the process and after so we're not just gonna thank you very much and then go it's no it's, it's not like that at all brilliant brilliant so what, what do you see as being the biggest opportunities for the, the sector over the next five years or so. I mean, you've said, you know, from your, for your, for your personal perspective, education is an area you'd like to get into. How do you see the, the overall sector evolving over the next five years? I think the, uh, well, the education sector, you mean, or just general? Just generally, Matt, just generally. Um, the hospitality sector, um, that's evolving. I, I've noticed quite a lot of, there's rebrands going on. So there's there's opportunities there. Uh, I'm in touch with some already. Um, I, that's I, overall what I've seen. The hospitality sector is they are now beginning to spend on and invest in marketing. Mm. Um, compared to last year, 
it was it was very hit and miss. I felt, but now I'm seeing a bit of seeing a difference. Brilliant, brilliant. So, question I like to ask people towards the end of these interviews is: um, you're you're an experienced business owner now, Matt. You've been in business a while, achieving great success now. What advice would you give your 18 year old self? 18 year old self. Before going on any venture you may choose, make sure you plan. <laughs> plan, but don't plan too much that you forget to do. Yeah. Plan and do. Plan and do. But don't uh, distract yourself off the road where you're going. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. And finally, um, for a lot of business owners at the moment, it's, um, you know, there's, it's tough out there for a lot of people. Uh, you, you know how myself, Matt, I'm a firm believer that it's possible for a for a, a country to talk itself into a recession. So I don't want to go down that route. But a lot of business owners are finding it tough at the moment. And um, what would you say to those? I mean, you've you've got a, you know a, a great business, as you say, very well networked, forming these great connections and everything. To a business owner watching this who's finding things tough at the moment, what advice would you give them? I would give them to, as long as you've got a backup plan, no matter what, because anything could happen, have that backup plan there. As long as that's there, you know what to do if it goes that way, you're prepared for it. But in the meantime, you're aiming for that success. Just, I think the networking part is important, but most important of all, above that, is believe in yourself Believe what you are capable of and believe what you can aspire to. Don't aim too high too soon. Just aim to achieve what can be achieved and go from there. Just don't look back. Look forward. Amazing. Amazing. Listen, uh, Matt, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on this episode of the Business Spotlight. To all our viewers, uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of the Business Spotlight with me, Matt Bull of Action Coach Loughborough. Thanks again, Matt. Thank you very much.